Welcome to Anchored. At Bethel, we talk a lot about the three relationships that should matter the most in our Christian journey. Relationship with God, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Relationship with the church, that's other believers. And relationship with the world, those who don't know or follow Jesus. Considering that so much of who we are as a believer is tied to relationship, it makes sense that we should not overlook the driving force behind it. Our relationship with God is what we'll consider today. If a reporter on the street asks people the question, do you know who Tiger Woods is? The majority of people would probably answer yes. But if you ask those same people, do you personally know Tiger Woods? The reporter would probably not find anyone who said yes. Fact, there is a huge difference between knowing about someone and actually knowing someone. A lot of people know about God, but many of those same people do not actually know God. For believers, the driving force behind our ability to actually know God is Jesus. It is Jesus who brings us into a real relationship with God the Father. God has reconciled us to himself through Jesus, so we're no longer alienated but belong, no longer guilty and unfit, but made right and welcomed. In John 17, Jesus prays for himself, for the disciples, and for all believers. That includes you and me. It's humbling to consider, as he neared death, that our Savior had generations and generations of future believers on his mind. He wasn't thinking about death. He was thinking about life. Those of us who would be reconciled to the Father through his sacrifice. If you want to deepen your relationship with God the Father, spend some time this week marinating on the words of Jesus in John 17, specifically verses 20 through 23, which says, I am praying not only for these disciples, but also for all who will ever believe in me through their message. I pray that they will all be one, just as you and I are one, as you are in me, Father, and I am in you. And may they be in us so that the world will believe that you sent me. I have given them the glory you gave me, so they may be one as we are one. I am in them, and you are in me. May they experience such perfect unity that the world will know that you sent me and that you love them as much as you love me. Hashtag wow.